Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you if it's possible that an app can really blow out a candle. Okay, so I have this app here I found online, and you can see that it has this blower here. When you turn it on, it makes this sound as if this fan starts turning and blowing air out of it. So let's see if it actually works to blow out a candle. I light the candle. Okay, turn it on. <laughs> it blows it out. <laughs> So look how weird this is. Light the candle, then turn on the blower. Immediately blows it out. Also, it's pretty cool with this app. It also has a function to connect with your microphone. So when it hears a sound, it makes that tone. So that means you could virtually blow out a candle. It's easy to see that somehow this app is blowing air out of it. You can see it can actually blow real particles here. So is there really a tiny little fan on here that's blowing out air? Well, as much as they make it look like a real fan, it doesn't actually have a fan in your iPhone. Well, obviously the way it's doing this is through sound. If you know anything about sound, this should be a little bit confusing to you because sound waves don't actually move air from one location to another. They just vibrate it back and forth. Sound is created with a speaker cone vibrating back and forth. So it's basically just pushing air one way and then pulling it back the other way, just back and forth. And so what it does is it creates a location of high pressure and then low pressure. But if you look at only one individual air particle, you'll notice that it's not going anywhere. It's staying in the same location. For example, on this wave machine here, I have transverse waves going this direction and I have longitudinal waves going this direction. So if this were a sound wave, what would this would be is areas of high pressure propagating outward. And the areas where they're more spaced out is the areas of low pressure. So you can see that overall, none of these bars are actually moving anywhere. They're just vibrating back and forth in one location. So they have a specific movement, but it's confined to a very tiny area. So why isn't the sound just causing the flame to vibrate back and forth like this? Why is it actually blowing it in one direction? So first let's check and see if there's anything else special going on with the sound being generated by this app. Let's just use some regular tones and see if we can put out a flame with that. So let's see if just a regular sine wave can put this out. So it is blowing it. Try a lower one. Oh, that blows really well. Easily puts it out at 240 hertz. So if sound waves can't actually move a bulk of air, then how is this app using sound to blow out the candle? Well, it has to do with the difference between sucking and blowing. When the speaker cone inside of the iPhone moves out, it pushes a little bit of air out of the tiny little holes at the bottom of the iPhone. And then when the speaker cone moves the other direction, it sucks air back in. And that little tiny movement of air in and out and then in and out causes these pressure waves. So the total amount of air moving in and out of those little tiny holes at the bottom of your speaker is always constant. It has to move the same out as it moves in so it doesn't run out of air. But there's a difference between when it's blowing air out and sucking air in. Let me show you with this vacuum cleaner here. So with the shop vac, you have one side that blows out air and one side that sucks in air. So you can see the difference between sucking and blowing here. So I have a cotton ball in my hand and watch what happens when I hold it a few inches from the outlet of the blower. It easily blows it out of my hand. But now watch what happens when I put it a few inches from the sucker. Nothing, it can't suck it in. That's because on the end that's blowing it out, it's coherent air. That means that the main bulk of air coming out of it has the same speed and direction. So it's kind of like a column of air being pushed out of it. But when it sucks it in, that's not the case. When it sucks it in, it comes from all directions around the tube. And so there's no one area around it that's having a lot of air pass by it. So when you blow air out of something, you make it coherent. When you suck air in, it's not coherent. So I'm sucking in as hard as I can. 
and I can't blow out the candle. But watch what happens when I blow out just a tiny little bit. Just a tiny little blow and it blows out the candle. So what's happening with this app is that the air that's coming out of those holes of the speaker are coherent when it's being pushed out. But when it's being pulled in, it's coming from all directions. And because it's coming from all directions, it doesn't have as much power to blow out the candle going inward. You can see that it truly is sucking in air and blowing it out because if I move the candle in different places, you can see that in some places it's sucking in the fire. You can see right here the flame is actually moving towards it but not with as much force. That's because the area is so much greater that that air is moving over. But when you get it in the right spot with the air coming out, that air is all moving in the same direction, so there's a lot more bulk of air in a small area to blow out the candle. That's why it has to be pretty close to it in order to blow out the candle. When you move it further away, you lose that coherent air, so you just have the actual pressure waves that can't put out the candle no matter how loud it is. And thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, and hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And check out Action Lab Shorts, which is my second channel I have similar to this one, but I do my videos in less than a minute. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.